The Incredibles. Once upon a time, a superhero called Mr. Incredible met his biggest fan, a kid named Buddy. He wanted to be Mr. Incredible's sidekick, but Mr. Incredible said no. He worked alone. Mr. Incredible married another super. She was called, she was known as Elastigirl. Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl had three kids, Violet, Dash, and Jack-Jack. They were a family of supers. But years later, being a super became illegal. Pausing the story, guys. That word illegal, what does that mean? That means that the law says we cannot behave or do business or anything of this nature, right? So we don't do it. So when it's legal, we can't. That means yes. When it's illegal, it means no. And the principle of love means we always do the right thing. We don't find loopholes. We don't find a way of doing it. And just because the law did not say we can't, if it's not touching on this exact thing, if it's illegal, then we don't do it even in the, princi in the principle of the situation. Okay. All right. Hopefully I didn't make that too tough for you guys. We do love means always doing the right thing. All right, but in this story, this is a different twist and turn. So we don't base our life on fiction. We just enjoy the presentation. It's entertainment only. All right, cool. Getting back to the story. The Incredibles had to hide their powers and identities. So they became Bob and Helen Parr. Bob misusing his superpowers. One day, the mysterious woman called Mirage contacted him. Mirage had a mission for Bob. She wanted him to become Mr. Incredible again. Mr. Incredible agreed, and he went on, a, on the mission alone. But it was a trap. The evil super captured Mr. Incredible. The villain called himself Syndrome. But his real name was Buddy, the super from Mr. Incredible's past. Mr. Incredible ran away from Syndrome and snuck into his headquarters. But it wasn't long before Syndrome captured him again, pump plumbing him with giant globs of goo. <laughs> when Helen discovered that her husband was in trouble, she jumped into the jet to rescue him. Dash and Violet came along too. Syndrome, Syndrome shot a jet down, shot the jet down, sending it into the ocean. But Helen became Elastigirl, shaping herself into a boat and kept going. Very cool, Mom. Elastigirl found Syndrome headquarters, got inside, and saved Mr. Incredible. Violet and Dash held their own against Syndrome guards. Working together, the Incredible defeated Syndrome and stopped his robots from destroying the city. Individually, they were super, but as a team, they were unstoppable. The Incredibles saved the day. You know, team effort always work. And when you do have that that team effort when the mom and the dad and the kids work all as a family, having a negative energy or an outcast that doesn't belong in the family, come into the family and destroy it from the inside will never work. So definitely always be on mom's team because you can have a friend that's trying to steer you away from mom and dad's good advice. Or if you have friends that are not really liked by your mate, then honor that, right? So enjoy the rest of this book and this journey, and I'll see you next book. We're going to be reading up. <laughs> Take care. Bye.